Welcome back, guys. Let me set my timer over here real quick. So we did some grinding, so we're at level 8 now. So more than a high enough level to take on uh, Blood Raven. So we're going to stock up some potions here real quick. Uh, let's see here. The one point of warmth, we got the four points into fire bolts. The one point in that, we got two points in here, which was kind of a mistake. We only really need one point because we're mostly going to be focusing on uh, hydras, really, the frost nova. Frost nova is there just for the stallments, so. But it has like a nine second freeze time, so it's like really handy. Boys out here, real quick. Takes quite a bit of of uh, mana, but uh, it'll be worth it in the end. And then for like gear wise, nothing really changed too much dramatically. You got a pair of boots. Uh, better armor, found a um, topaz for some magic find, upgraded the bow a bit. So that bow eventually will be going to my mercenary, so I'll go ahead and grab this stuff real quick. The old snowstorm is supposed to hit sometime later in the day, so I'm getting the recording in now, so I don't have to worry about it later. Let's take, jeez. And uh, remember, when you make a cold sorceress, uh, loot drops from enemies actually uh, get highly, what's the word I want to look for? Highly um, decreased, I guess, considering you're actually shattering the body. And the same thing with uh, corpse explosions. So that's why uh, people who do like um, uh, magic find runs or like ruin drops and like chaos sanctuary or something like that uh, tell people not to use like frozen orb or blizzard or corpse explosion because it damages the body to the point where you can't farm ruins. So. Uh, put that in there. Where's that increase magic find? That frost note was gonna come real handy against Blood Raven. There is, but we have a bow that has lightning and poison, and it's effective against undead, so we should be good. As usual, I always apologize for the intensive mouse clicking, but you know, something can't be helped. This uh, the crypt and mausoleum is gonna be a really good spot to magic line in, especially as several mini bosses and stuff like that. And considering most of all the enemies are completely melee, it gives me a huge advantage. Uh, Strength and gas potions I always recommend using, especially if you're at a lower level and you're taking on a blood raven, because her abilities of using fire and poison on you. Can cripple your champion, especially if you're playing someone as squishy as a sorceress who has almost zero defense. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Q. 
keep you just straight up frozen, you ain't gonna do much. And since Frost Nova has a 9 second frozen time, it's gonna come really handy against her. Frozen for 9 seconds while poison hits you, you ain't do much. Pretty sure almost the bosses like have half. You are just goddamn. You're annoying to take on. Kind of stay still. Uh, half the frozen time, I'm assuming, because there's no way to hell that's like. God damn, just squirrely. Uh, there's no way that's nine seconds. So I think bosses get like half the frozen time. I could be completely wrong on that, but I know like bosses like Diablo and Bale and Mephisto have like pretty high cold resistance. Alright, so this bow is going to you, which I don't need this crap for. Uh, we ended up getting this accidentally stuck an emerald in there, thinking it was my bow at the time. So nothing like really significant. But it'll come in handy. Oh, and we got the small charm too. Usually with small charms like that, without any resistances or any stats like that, tend to be acquired to level 10 in order to use them. Uh, you can use sapphires for your mana if you want to put them in armor. Uh, choice optional in that area. Mostly I would say save them for weapons considering that you're going to eventually find better gear anyways. But if you're really hurting on mana that bad then go ahead and use them. But uh, you may want to save them to upgrade them too. Upgrade to at least to a sapphire after that. I mean you should be pretty much good up to like Act four at least. And then once we get up to Black, uh, was it the Forgotten Tower? Uh, that's where we're gonna do like a lot of. Ruin farming, so with that, I'm gonna see if I can make your little leaf. I don't think there's. Um... God, I can't remember what the hell that goddamn ruin word's called. I'm pretty sure you can make it. Uh, there's a ruin word. Not stealth. Uh... Splendor, I think it is. That has, like, one ability. Went to all skills and a bunch of other stats. I have to look it up. But if we can make that, it'll help out the sorcerers for quite a bit. And if you haven't seen the uh, schedule for the channel, yeah, of course not. Uh, we're doing uh, Among Us on Mondays, so. Uh, Diablo will be for Tuesday through Friday. And just like that, he fell. Ooh, he gave us a, uh, a run of bells. That's so nice of him. Single player, you always want to pick up that gold. <laughs> it's tedious, and it's so nice when Diablo 3 when they had uh, gold pickup. Better than mine. It was like what five extra mana? Yeah, that'll help out a lot. Fifty-six. <clears throat> and I actually have do I actually do have Diablo three, but uh, uh, 
even with on my computer, it's still laggy as hell to run. But that's why I prefer to Diablo 2. I mean, you really don't need much to run it. I mean, you've, let me take a drink here real quick. Especially if you look at something like Diablo Remastered, it takes a way a lot more than regular uh, Diablo 2 does. But uh, in the end, old school Diablo 2 will always be the best. I mean, there's some things that they did change that I do like with um, Remastered, but I don't know, it's like they kind of smoothed out the graphics way too much for that goddamn game. I brought that up with like fellow uh, Diablo players about like if you look at the uh, Arcane Sanctuary and of oh, the Arcane Sanctuary now compares to the Arcane Sanctuary to uh, Diablo Remastered, it's like you have that more rugged look to the uh, regular Diablo 2 where you can see everything's etched in and everything's like like it was like handcrafted and then it compares this to like Diablo 2 Remastered where it was just like completely like sand down and completely nothing it was like it's completely smoothed over it's like does not look good I mean I think it was like Diablo's Inferno looks like crap you know it's like one like main line of lightning that was about it so I'm just like the massive Inferno he shoots out and in, in um yeah but I don't know it's just personal opinion <laughs> And I think eventually I will end up getting Path of Diablo, but uh, I don't know. Let's do that maybe in the near future. I'll have to see how you actually have to set it up. Since I know it's more like an upgraded version of Diablo uh, for Battle.net and something like that, more people are actually playing on that. Less bots and crap like that. Alright, so these areas are cleared out. We'll have something in here. Five and a half minutes left. Alright, let's sell this stuff. Blood Raven is dead. So we're gonna explore Stony Field as we can. And get the waypoints in there. Uh, I will probably end up exploring in Stony Field just for grinding purposes. But, uh, that'd be like really about it. I just realized I'm only like 75% of my level. So even being level 8 in that area, it's still barely giving me any experience. I think Stonyfield's where we're going to get a lot of our experience at. one shot these guys that's nice still can't one shot you guys A blue boy over here. Yeah, it still hurts. I don't have my shield up. That might be nice to have. Uh, rare leather armor. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, just cap. I agree, yes. What do you mean you can't use that? No. Not level 5 yet. Go figure. Here's a new piece of gear. Can't use it yet. <laughs> hey, we found the waypoint. Nice. Nothing. 
three minutes left. Let's go say hi to the uh, wildlife over here. And a scepter. Large charm. Most large charms tend to be complete crap unless they give you like experience or like high end magic find. Are really annoying. <laughs> I think so far the only downfall that I've seen with Frost Nova is with archers. Since archers tend to be pretty squirrely in this goddamn game, so even slowing them down, it's still it's hard to take them out. I was using that against Cold Crow in uh, was it the cave or whatever the hell it was in the Cold Plains, and she was just like still moving around like she wasn't slowed down at all. We got a minute left here so we're gonna end it right here and um as usual i'll just do off ground shore off shore grinding and uh grind uh, the catacombs to grind uh the mausoleum and um little blue boy over there for the stony field and uh we'll continue through the underground passage and all that stuff like that in the next video so but i hope you've been staying safe healthy and sanitized as usual you'll see this video tomorrow or whatever depending on how the weather is and um that's about it so thank you guys subscribing drop a like leave comments below and i'll check them all out see you guys